Hey guys, Mariah from MariahMagazine.com here. Um, so I just wanted to welcome you guys to the very first episode of Website Wednesdays. I've been doing this series for a little while now, mostly on Instagram, and I've been getting really good feedback about it, so I thought that I would totally bring it to YouTube. If you're new to the channel, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So this week, I'm just going to show you how to find and fix uh, broken links on your website. So before we get into finding and fixing those broken links, I just want to run through uh, why it's important to find and fix them. The first main reason why it's important to fix these broken links has to do with your SEO. Having broken links makes it a little hard for Google spider bots to crawl and index your website. And they also use links as a measure of site quality and authority. And reason number two has to do with your website visitors. So I'm sure that we've all been on a website and you go to click on a link that they recommend and it ends up taking you to either a page that doesn't exist before or a page that doesn't make any sense. Um, that's an example of a broken link. So what that does for your visitors is frustrates them. So it's super important for your authority in terms of SEO and with your audience um, that you go ahead and fix those broken links. So today I'm going to hop on a quick tutorial and just show you how to find those broken links so you can go ahead and fix them. So just go to Google and type in broken link checker and search and we're going to scroll down to dead link checker. So go ahead and click that and this free tool will pop on up. So right here in this box, you're gonna wanna go ahead and type in your website URL and make sure that whole website is clicked and then click check and it's gonna start scanning your website. Um, this could take a few minutes, so I would just wait until the scan says 100% complete right here. Once it says 100% scanned, you can go ahead and scroll down and take a look at the broken links that it found. Now, how it lays it out is the status right here, which is the kind of broken link that it is, the URL right here, which is the link that's broken, and the source link text is the text that links to this broken URL. So in order to fix these, we kind of have to go through and figure out what they are. So you can scroll down and right click and open the link in a new tab just to make sure that that link is actually broken before we go ahead and get rid of it on our website. So yes. Uh, this website takes you to a page that basically doesn't exist anymore. So we go back and we're going to open up this one in a new tab. And we can scroll down and find that link text, which was this one. So we're just going to open it again just to make sure that this is the one that was broken. And yep, that's it. So once we know which one is broken, then we can log into our website and we can either fix that URL or we can just totally delete it. So for WordPress, you can go ahead and edit the post. Scroll down and in this one, I'm just going to delete this altogether since I already have two other options. Um, another thing that you can do is hover over it, edit it and fix the URL. So sometimes a link is broken because we put the URL for the website in wrong. So that could be it. Or like this instance, the website just doesn't exist anymore. So there is no really fixing it. And another option is you can go back in and try to find a new resource to link to. So for this page, for example, I could go in and try to find another Instagram tool that helps with hashtags and kind of just replace this whole line. Just for the video, I am going to delete it and update the page. And now that broken link does not exist on my website. So it might take you a few minutes to go through this list depending on how many broken links uh, this tool found, but it's totally worth it in terms of SEO and building your authority 
and your reputation with your website visitors to take the time and to fix these broken links. I would recommend doing a broken link check every few weeks just to go in and make sure that, you know, nothing's changed and that every time that you post either a new page or a new blog post that you're linking to the correct URLs. Um, a lot of things happen on the internet. Page names change, um, URLs change up here, which could break that link. Websites close. Um, you know, there's a bunch of different reasons why a link could be broken. It's super important to stay on top of it. And with a free tool like this, it's totally not that hard to do, you know, every few weeks. Um, if you have any questions about this tool, just go ahead and comment below this video and I'd love to answer them. And that's about it. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, just go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up.